what I'm going to demonstrate here is how to amortize the discount on note receivable with annuity payments. And we'll just use the effective interest method. So what is that note receivable? Well, we provided services here at the beginning of year one or at the beginning of the year. And in exchange for those services, we've got a note receivable that includes four equal payments here. And those payments would be at the end of the next four years. So what we have to do is we have to calculate how much interest is earned on that note. And then we have to amortize or we have to allocate that interest revenue earned on the note receivable to the income statement over the next four years. So let's fit calculate that interest. So we know we received, we're going to receive four equal payments here of $1,000 and that would be $4,000. That's the cash to be received. And we know that we got four payments here, so we have to discount those back to the present value. It's their present value. And you can either put it into your calculator or into like an Excel formula here where I use the present value formula in Excel, put the interest rate in. In this case, I'm using 10%. That's what's imputed in the note receivable. And then number of periods, four years, and then a payment here of $1,000 per year. And then it would be ordinary year uh, or ordinary annuity. It would be at the end of um, y at the end of the year. So you put in a zero here. So the interest that we have to amortize would be the four thousand dollars that we receive uh, in cash for the four payments, less the present value here of those that an those annuity payments. So it'd be four thousand minus. Three thousand one hundred seventy, or eight hundred and thirty dollars interest. All right. Now we'll calculate our interest revenue for each of the next four years. So let's just go through it step by step. All right. We started out with a beginning balance here of thirty-one hundred and seventy dollars, and that was the uh, present value of that the note or the annuity that we received. And then we have to calculate our interest here. We know our interest rate was 10%, so we take 10% times $3,170, the beginning, uh, beginning balance, and we get an interest here of $317. Now we add the beginning balance, $3,170 plus $317, and then we subtract out the payment that we received and we end up with an ending balance of $2,487, and that's really the carrying value of the note receivable. And then the ending balance of year one becomes the beginning balance of year two. So we'll just go through that. We know that that's $2,487 times a 10% interest rate, and we get $249. Then we add the $249 to our beginning balance, and, and then we subtract out our payment here, $1,000, and then we get the ending balance a year two here at $1,736. And then we just repeat the same steps here uh, for years three and four. So we've calculated out our interest revenue here by taking the first of the year balance times our interest rate for each of those four years. And then just remember here, the first of the year balance equals the end of the last year's balance. So ending balance here of 2487 becomes the beginning balance uh, of year two at 2487. And then just add your interest earned here uh, to your beginning balance, subtract out your payments, and then you come up with your ending balance. All right. All right, let's look at how we record notes receivable here, which is an asset on the balance sheet, and then the related interest earned or revenue here, which is part of net income on the income statement. So we started out with $4,000 here on notes receivable as a debit amount. That's when the services were provided. And then we have a discount on that notes receivable here. Now the discount is a contra account that reduced our notes receivable. And the discount amount here, we started out with $830, which was the $4,000 minus its present, the present value here uh, of $3,170, which is $830. And then each year, we reduced our discount here by the amount of the interest earned. That would be a debit to a discount on notes receivable. And then 
the associated credit entry would here be to service revenues here of the interest earned each year. Now if you look here we have the present value of the service provided of 3170 plus that interest earned and then we got a total here of four thousand dollars service revenues. All right. So let's go over here and look at this notes receivable for the uh, payments that we received each year. So I uh, received a thousand dollar payment each year so we would reduce or credit notes receivable by that amount each year and then the associated uh, entry here would be to cash where we increase cash by a thousand dollars each year so we ended up with the payments we received here are shown in the cash account so that's a summary here on how we record a discount on notes receivable